All right, it's about that time to check in with some of the amazing talent that we discovered on KCRW's Young Creators Project. And this morning we are joined by Roz and Colin. How's it going, fellas? It's going great. It's, it's going, going good, good. good. Good, good. Well, congratulations. This is a huge big deal and we're excited to talk to you and get to know a little more about you and get a little deeper. Uh, Roz, real quick, before we get into this, you've uh -huh. actually, your start was production, is that correct? Yeah, it was production. I started making beats maybe like 2016, high school. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, I just started recording and writing and, you know, mm -hmm. you know doing every every single part within the song making process. So, Did you guys, I'm just curious, did you guys watch that Kanye doc? You know what? Yeah, I've I maybe, watched parts of it while he watched it. But yeah, I think mm -hmm. watched I've maybe watched it like three times yeah. over. And it's funny because I'm not even really a crazy Kanye fan, but that documentary, there's something about that, just seeing him. Uh, just on the rise. I don't know. I thought that was. I thought that was cool, man. And it was pretty inspirational. It definitely yeah. made me want to start like filming as much of my process as possible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Well, it's interesting because when I was digging through uh, uh, your assets and I was looking at your videos and everything, like it made me think. When you create a beat, are you already thinking about your cadence and how you're gonna rap over it, or is it just kind of like? Like, what's the process? Because Kanye had a hard time because he was trying to establish himself as a lyricist and a beat producer, but no one took him seriously. So, like, when you right. create your beats, are you, is there some of that Kanye in there where you're trying to prove yourself as a lyricist while creating these great beats? Um, you know, I feel like I've already proven, at least to myself, that I could do both just yeah. as well. So, I guess when it, when it comes to with making a beat, Mm -hmm. I'll usually make a beat and then, you know, if I start hearing, I'll start to feel or hear a flow in my head. And then from that cadence or flow, I'll start to write. And it really depends on the beat because sometimes I'll make beats just to make beats. Uh, but mm -hmm. most of the time I'm making beats to, you know, to properly write on. Yeah, yeah. Who, who inspires you right now lyrically? I know, mm -hmm. I know there's tons of names, but I'm yeah. just curious because I like what That's you just said. That's always a hard question. That's always yeah. a hard question. A friend of mine asked me literally like two days ago, top three rappers right now. Mm -hmm. And I would have to say... Uh, Vince Staples right now, I'm listening to him a lot. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. MF Doom right now, and Kendrick Lamar. Those are top yeah. three right now yeah. that I'm listening to, so I would have to say them three for now. The great thing about Kendrick is how he utilizes his voice. It's almost like a sax or a piano. And Raz, I, I, if I understand correctly, your first instruments were the sax, the drums, and the piano. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I was maybe in third grade, uh, yeah. and I was... <laughs> I was taking saxophone, man. I wasn't the best, but mm. that was my introduction to music. And then I took piano and drums. And then my piano teacher is the one who actually introduced me to uh, like software and, and DAWs and stuff. And that's where I sort of had that little planted that seed and then learned yeah. about Ableton and then boom, now I'm here. Yeah, checking out your socials, your videos are amazing. Um, Thank are you. you guys visually inspired in terms of creating your music and your content? How important is that to you? Oh, that's, I think, the most important part. I think it's so crucial to get the visuals down. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of stuff, we sit down with our director, Radamo, Radamo Rosa. He's shot and directed all our videos. We'll sit down maybe like two, three weeks before we actually shoot the video, and we'll storyboard. We'll come up with the treatment, come up with all the ideas, the setups. Um, it's usually just, especially for this blessed, we sat down um, and we just brainstormed ideas, brainstormed setups and stuff. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I, I, and as far as inspired, I, I guess I'm a, a lot of Kendrick videos. Yeah, because yeah. his are a, a lot of his frames. Every frame is a painting. Mm. Um, so we try to, you know, follow that. And he never a lot of videos, a lot of good videos. They never go back to a setup. So we tried to do that, especially with this video. We never went back. Like once we show a setup, we never go back to it. Yeah, yeah. Is mm -hmm. there ever friction between the two of you when you're creatively cooking up some stew in the in the studio when you're trying to cook that up? And how do you um, deal with that if there I, is? Honestly, I don't think there's really any any friction between us. Honestly, mm -hmm. it's like sometimes if one of us has a beat that we want to both hop on, we both hop on. If he has mm -hmm. a beat that I like and I only want to be on it, he'll just give it to me. Yeah. Vice versa, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I feel like we're pretty pretty in sync when it comes to stuff like that. Well, congratulations. We're so stoked to have you and uh, KCRW's you Young Creators Project, Roz and Colin. Before we let you go, we want to mm -hmm. play another one of your cuts. So mm -hmm. what can we go out with? What do you have? You could do, um, if you look up Patience mm -hmm. on Spotify, Ross and Amon. So, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, we're so happy to uh, feature you and big love to your mom and your parents who listen yes, to KCRW and thank the community you. in Lemur Park. Thanks again.